Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy, disgusting mouth, so viewer discretion is advised, but if you're not into that or weird ugh, stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Well, hello, my little darlings. I am excited for today's video because we're gonna be doing a good old fashioned try on with the exception that this is gonna be focusing more on products that are at Sephora. If you've been living under a rock, Sephora is going to do their last ditch effort, their last sale of the year, where you can get 20% off a single purchase, regardless of your status, anywhere from, I believe, December 1st to the 11th. I'll leave all the information right here. That said, a lot of these products, actually all of these products, yeah, all of these products were purchased during the Sephora Rouge sale, and I've just been very slow. <laughs> And today is the day I get to finally play with them. Actually, no, I'm lying. There are two products <laughs> that I purchased before the sale. And a part of me was like, I should have just waited for the sale. And then the rest of them that I purchased during the sale. <laughs> does that make sense? I think it does. Anyway, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about new complexion products from Glossier, two palettes from Danessa Myricks, a face palette from Benefit Cosmetics, the Pepto-Bismol Serum from The Ordinary, and last but certainly not least, we're gonna talk about the little Valentino lipstick gif thingy-majiggy. Is that it? I believe that's it. Oh, I'm an idiot. As well as the Kaja Plumping Lip Oil. Oh, I'm dumb. And the two, there is just so much. I, I just, I bought a lot of stuff. <laughs> and the Tom Ford highlighters. Anyway, I think the best thing that I can describe today's emotion because um, I had to start over again because, uh, well, you'll see. You'll see. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, this video should probably be appropriately titled, do you wanna purchase any of these things during the Sephora sale? I would think again. Okay. <laughs> I would think twice, okay? That's, I think, the working title of this video. Anyway, let me show you how I created this and we will go from there. Oh, hi. Um, I didn't mean to scare you. I look like a fucking ghost. <laughs> I'm gonna take all this off. Um. Oh, oh God, okay. Oh God. Yeah, we're gonna take all this off and we're gonna try again. Uh, that, that, the, <laughs> the foundation. <laughs> okay. She is thick. She is thick and not in a good way. Not in a good way, not in a fun way. She is fucking heavy, heavy. And for something that is very light, <laughs> No, bitch. We're not doing that today. I got fucking meetings I gotta go to. I'm trying to look like a fucking cake. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna let my uh, face breathe for a second. We're not off to a good start today. Okay, my eyebrows are, I don't know, we're, we're just gonna have to do, make do. We're just gonna have to make do today. Let's try this again. Take two. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna start with the Ordinary Serum, the Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. Let me give you the money shot, basically. Oh, yeah, you like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> this feels really nice. I don't know though, um, as a primer, <sighs> the foundation and the primer, ooh, bitch. It's not doing the things that I want it to do. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate, you know, but it's okay. We're, just, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try to make it work again. <laughs> but if this doesn't work as a primer, I am going to incorporate this in my skincare routine. I like the feel of it. Ew. <laughs> I like the feel of it. It's nice. It's very moisturizing. It has a water feel to it. Traditionally, I usually kind of pile on a bunch of oil because my skin demands it, but it's nice to kind of switch up the texture. And the Pepto-Bismol is uh, giving me life. I'm also adding a little bit more because the first time I did this, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, and I think I probably could have added a little bit more because it does dry down. Y'all know me, I like to look like I stuck my head in a fucking deep fryer. But this, this is all right. We're just gonna have to make do today. We're gonna have to make do, why? Because I have to go to work and I already fucked around too much. So. <laughs> I already fucking killed 20 minutes. We're gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna go in first with the Glossier Stretch Concealer. And I wanna put that under my eyes. Cause I really like this formula, but on top of the foundation, it did not look good. I don't know, just, it didn't look good. It was too fucking cakey. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe put this down first and then maybe add the foundation. Wow, she is good coverage. 
I want to try to put down the foundation underneath that. I don't know, I just, I, I did not like how it was looking up here. I'm also going to kind of put this on my little red spot up here because she's cute. I was initially going to go in with a little bit of a color corrector, but I want to see how this works on its own first. I'm just gonna press that bitch in and I'm gonna just be very gentle with the foundation. The thing that I don't love about the foundation, it's very, very drying. And I think I fucked it up. It says you can do like one to two coats and I went in and I did two coats. Uh, so this is a foundation that you need to really just do one coat and then if you need to build up anything else, you need to just use a concealer because if you start to layer the product, it becomes cake fucking city. I will say though, I actually don't even want to fucking touch the foundation now because I like how this looks with the concealer. I really love this formula and I haven't had this stretch concealer in a hot minute. Probably since I lived in New York actually. Okay, good old sponge. Press, press, press. Press, press, press. All right, that's looking a little bit better. Whew, okay. <laughs> Take two of this. All right, so um, this is the Stretch Fluid. Yeah, Stretch Fluid Foundation. This is in the shade Very Light, number two. Oh, if you're interested, I also have it in the shade Very Light, number two for the Stretch Concealer. I think they renumbered it. I think it used to be like G12 and now it's L2, L1, and then it goes on and on and on. This is a natural finish. Apply one to two pumps on clean, moisturized skin and blend for a seamless finish. Add more for extra coverage, you fucking liar. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one pump. <laughs> I'm gonna use my little Sigma brush here and we are just going to just paint, 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 paint. This is looking so much better. Okay, okay, all right, whew. I could breathe now. It's a little scared. It did not look good. It, it did not look good. This is also the first time I'm kind of using this brush too. Usually I use my brush that I got from Yes Style or BK Beauty. So I'm not like super loving this Sigma brush only because I am seeing some brush marks, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. I think I like this. I think I like this. So again, I'm just going to do, oop came out as two little shits. <laughs> yeah, I'm not like a huge fan of this brush. I'm gonna make it work, but like kind of creating kinda harsh lines. What is up with that? I don't love that. I'm gonna take a little bit of excess that I have on my hand. I'm just gonna put that on my nose with a sponge. Now this foundation does dry down. I don't really love that. Also, it feels very like splotchy and blotchy here. I don't want to use any more, <laughs> but I have to do my forehead. So I'm gonna do like a baby one. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my fingers. So I need a little bit more coverage. I'm not going to try it with the foundation. I've learned my lesson. I'm going to go back in with the concealer and I'm just going to just like build coverage right here. I don't know. It's just like kind of splotchy. What the fuck that's about? I'm not writing off this foundation entirely because it could be the primer too. Maybe it's just kind of not meshing in very well, but all right, I think this is the best that we're going to do. When I say that this looks so much better, this looks so much better. <laughs> Oh, that was fucking terrifying. All right, so I'm gonna now go in to the Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch Powder. So I have it in the shade Cherry Blossom and I did use this already for this video. So um, I don't love this sponge. This sponge is weird. It's too thin. It feels like a fucking McRib yoga mat. I don't like it. So we're never gonna use her. Instead, I'm gonna use my big old puffy boy that I got from Amazon. And I'm just going to lightly press it underneath my eyes to lock in. I was about to say the freshness, but I guess it is the freshness, right? Okay. I'm just going to put a little right there. I'm just going to press it in on the edges of my eyebrows. I'm going to go into the BK Beauty Nikki Rose N15 brush and I'm just going to just lightly set the rest of my face with it. Mm, I don't love this powder. She's kind of thick and she looks dry as shit on my nose. So we're off to a great start. Okay. <laughs> She is a thick bitch and I hate her. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. I think the only redeeming quality about this thing is that... You know, I thought I had something to say. I don't think I do. This is fucking thick. Went back in with the yoga mat just to see if I can... <laughs> Maybe I just didn't like it on my face. Maybe I like it better on my forehead. No, but I don't. This is a fucking weird one. I was, about to say, I was literally about to say, this is a weird one, Mr. Grinch. I don't, I don't like it. You know what? Let's continue to fuck up my face more because that's where we're going today. I don't 
know how this is gonna work. I'm a little terrified of using this one, but we're gonna try to figure it out anyway. Um, this is, oh, there's no fucking way I'm gonna be able to do this. I probably should have thought about that before. I initially was gonna kind of go in here with this Danessa Myricks palette to try to see if I can bronze up my face with it, but I don't think that's possible. I probably should have done it <laughs> when I was using the cream stuff, but, um, Mm -mm. Yeah, there's no fucking way. And plus these pans are so small and I don't think I'm going to find, yeah, everything is like, it looks like baby shit. Okay, so we're not gonna do that. I'm just going to, I I'm just gonna get a, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I <laughs> I'm broken, mm-hmm, I'm broken. <sighs> Let me go find a bronzer. You know, I wanna put a little bit of a lip product on. I wanna try this lip oil actually. And for those that are curious, I went in with one of my favorite bronzers I found this year. This is from MAC. This is the Radiant Light Rosy Skin Finish. There's also a matte one. Doesn't matter which one you get. They're both fucking great. But if you want like a more radiant bronzer, it kind of has a little bit of sparkle, not too much, like tiny dots here and there. Get this, it's really good. I like it. This has been an amazing find this year. Um, but I wanna try, I need to try this lip oil because my lips are fucking dry. This is from Kaja. This is the Instant Hydrating Plumping Lip Oil. Fuck, I didn't realize it was plumping. I have it in the shade Raspberry Refresher. Also, this reminds me of Ramune. I like Japanese soda. I like it. Here's hoping it's not a spicy butthole. Okay, feels nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> For a second I was like, oh my God, this is too warm. No, it's good, it's good, it's good. All right, so in terms of a blush, I figured why not try this. So the Benefit came out with a bunch of holiday stuff. Nothing looked super appealing except for this guy. This is the Twinkle, twi Twinkle, Twinkle and Jingle. This is a full size blush and a highlighter palette. You get two different highlighters. You have Dandelion Twinkle as well as Honey Bee Twinkle and then you have the Dandelion Blush. So let's see how this works out for me. We go in with a little bit of Dandelion. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's a, where's the big do you see it? I don't, all right, hold on. Okay, let me just, she is coated, okay? You see it? Oh my God, the foundation, <laughs> it's settling like this line right here. What the, oh God. You know, I was trying to give this stupid ass foundation grace, but fuck this. <laughs> Fuck this. She is, she's light. She's light. She's very light. To the point where I feel like she's fucking with me. Cause I kind of feel like I see something like a little bit, but like it, it, like I had to, I had to, I had to do this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you see her? Like kinda, right? I'm tripping because I can't. <laughs> I can't tell right now if it's the blush or the bronzer. I can't even tell right now. It's a great day. It's a great day, Teresa's dead. All right, I think I see a little something something, but not by much, not by a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't fucking, I see like a, um, like a dot, a dot of something. This powder is totally fucking up my under eye area. Oh God. Did they change the formula of this concealer? Or it being like this kind of meh? I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna try the highlight. <laughs> we're gonna try the highlighter. Oh, oh, what is this? What is that? Who is this fucking for? All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try. We're gonna try this. We're gonna see how it goes. And I'm gonna go into Dandelion Twinkle. Okay, I mean, she's kind of pissing out a little bit. Let's go to Honey Bee Twinkle. <sighs> uh, okay. First of all, it's very sparkly. Um, Like a lot of weird kind of shitty chunky glitter. <sighs> The glow is not terrible, but it's very subtle. And y'all know me, I am not a subtle bitch. I feel like, yeah, I don't, I don't love this. I don't love this. So let's see, I'm gonna just use this blush brush just to, yeah, I don't, I don't love it. I don't love it. It's not, I don't love this. Fuck this. Okay, so, all right, we're gonna, <laughs> it's 
just gonna put that to the side. And I'm gonna go into a product that I know is good. Like I know it's good. And this is uh, from Tom Ford, Tommy Ford. Tommy Ford came out with some glow highlighters. We're going to use the shade Rose, no, Rose Rose. Yeah, you see that? Like that's just instant satisfaction. Money back guarantee. <laughs> We love her. She's everything. She's glowy. She's a slutty goddess. I'm obsessed. Clean off my brush because we do have another highlighter. This is the Grand Paradis, which is a gold boy. Just so as you can kind of see, we're non pre-existing highlighter. She is fucking perfection. Ah, oh, she's perfection. We love her. Okay. All right. All right. I'm starting to feel better now. This is something worth checking out during the Sephora sale for sure. This is worth checking out. She is a pricey bitch, but if you can get it for 20% off, she's amazing. Now I'm gonna go back into that dandelion shade just so I can uh, mesh the highlighter with the blush a little. There's no blush, bro. There's no blush. It's like a little something. I think there's more color from the fucking bronzer. <laughs> than there is from the blush. Yeah, don't love this powder. What the fuck? Just when we thought it didn't get worse, it gets worse. All right, let's, let's do something fun here, okay? We are going to use this palette as well as the other Dinesta Myricks palette, okay? I have not used this other than swatching it and potentially trying to use this today. That is all I have. I'm gonna go in my Sigma eye primer. So this palette's kind of interesting because it's comprised of either, ew, I just want my finger. <laughs> oh, I gotta push that back in. Oh, ew, I hate that. Okay, so there's one side that's like a putty <laughs> and the other side that's a powder. We're gonna focus on the powder today. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm going to, God, this is like all gray. Well, that's too dark. Ooh, these are like really weird gray tones. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the shade Desert. I almost said Dessert, which is this one right here. Okay, she's nicely pigmented. That's good. Little to no fallout. I don't think Denise Myrix has ever come out with any mattes. No, not to my knowledge anyway. I think we've only seen multi-chromes and duochromes and bears. Oh my. I'm gonna go into the shade sandstone which is this like a beigey color we're gonna use that fluff up outer corner or the outer edges i like how the mattes work it's nice kind of hope that she comes out with another all matte product but i would like powders though this time now i'm gonna go into the shade sculpted which is over yonder we're gonna just put that in the outer corner. Bring it up to the crease a little bit. I'm gonna go back into that sandstone shade. I wanna see something. I really do love all matte looks and this is not disappointing me. This is actually making me very excited to keep, to keep playing with this palette. I wanna see what that would look like. I like it. I'm not getting any sort of fallout or anything like that. Everything is pretty, pretty seamless. I don't see any sort of like patchiness or kind of difficulty blending the shades out. I think my only, not really complaint, but like I wish there was maybe another lighter shade. Um, but I mean, she's not bad though. Just in terms of like blending stuff out, she ain't bad. She's cute. I like her. I like her. We like her. So I'm just going to do this to the other side and then we're going to move on to a fun multi-chrome. I love the mattes in this. The mattes in this, pff, those are good. Cannot speak about what the cream products are, but which actually in hindsight, I probably should have started with the cream first. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> but mattes though, those are great. I need a huge palette with just matte shades. I fucking, the formula is just so nice. Oof, I love it. Oh, did this, did this finally fuse together? So funny story, when I purchased this palette, I took this out of the container first. I was like, oh, okay. Didn't even realize this. And I was like, oh, this must be like a mirror or something like that. And then I realized, no, it's the front of the fucking palette. And I spent $125 on this palette, right? So you would think that the construction would be, I don't know, much better, but it's not though. So I'm just gonna try to fuse it to the fucking, <laughs> to the palette. And we're gonna hope for the best here, but uh, don't be surprised if this falls off. All right, so this is what she looks like. Damn, she's pretty. She's very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, I don't even know. Where do we go? Oh, do we do green? Do we do magenta? Oh, that's fun, that one. Unstoppable, eh, less fun. Pretty, 
Very, very pretty actually. That one purple shade's actually kind of calling my name. We might actually go for that one. Now I love these palettes. In the past I've been a huge fan of them, uh, but I really am kind of, ooh, Radiant. Oh, I think I might go with Radiant. Okay, all right, so this is where it gets a little bit funky. Okay, so some of these are kind of interesting texture. Oh, that's, that's cool. I think we might have to go with Protected. I normally love the, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one too, shit, okay. Ooh, that's a, ooh, ah, oh, that's fun, that's fun. Oh, she's cute, okay. I am a huge fan of these palettes. I usually think they're worth the money. I think what made me side eye it a little bit <laughs> was the fact that the front of the palette kind of came off. That's unfortunate, you know, especially for that high price tag. You want something that's going to stay intact, you know, but neither here nor there at this point. But let's see if we're gonna go, oh, oh, that's good. Okay. Okay, this, ooh, okay, you know, oh, oh, that's good, okay. Oh, she is fucking vibrant. <gasps> oh, she is so vibrant. Okay, okay, ooh, I'm so, ugh. I wanna try them all now. We're gonna have to do another video about this palette because I know this is like a first impressions today, but there's just too much cool shit in here. During Dead Miss, I will do a full review, depending on how well it goes today. <laughs> no, I really, really wanna see. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that's a good silver. It's like a purpley silver. I love this, this is nice. So let's see how this is gonna work out. I kinda wanna go in with that blue. <gasps> Oh my God, I just looked at my face. My skin is so thick right here. Ooh, that concealer is doing me dirty. Fuck, okay. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, they must, they had to have changed the formula or something like that because I don't ever remember it being like this. This is, this is, this is wild. Fuck. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of NYX glitter glue because that's what I need for multi-chromes. And I'm just gonna go in probably to that blue shade because that blue shade is calling my name. Actually, the blue and the red, really. They're so pretty. Okay, so we're just gonna paint it right there. Oh, I kind of want to do that red. I don't know, it's, it's so hard. You know what? Actually, we're gonna try something out here. I'm gonna try both of these split pans because I want to see something. So we're just gonna start. Oh, that is fucking pigmented. Okay, wow. Wow, that's, wow, okay, okay, wow. I'm gonna stop right there. And then I'm gonna go into this shade right here. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting it to have a green kind of a flip, but she's cute though. You know, I have meetings today, but I just don't give a shit. What I will say though about this side, it's definitely a little bit stiffer. They're kind of coming out a little bit more flakier. So kind of be aware of that. So I am getting like a touch of fallout. So I wanna see if I can apply it with my, ooh, okay. <laughs> That's cute, that's fucking cute. Melting all my anxiety away <laughs> that I can't see my blush. My concealer looks like shit. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. This is cute. She is cute. I'm gonna build up that blue shade. Oh, she's cute. She is so cute. So what I wanna do now is I wanna go in back with this palette and I'm gonna use the shade Tourmaline and we're going to use that as a liner. I'm just gonna go also back in to that shade Sculpted, and I'm just gonna kind of press that with the blue just to kind of make the edge look a little bit more seamless. So it doesn't look like it's just shockingly blue. I'm gonna blend it in a little bit. Okay, this is nice. Mama likes. We're gonna do the same exact thing on this side, except we're going to use the shade Fierce and Fearless. So this is strong and brave. This is cute. This is really cute. Sorry it took me so long to play with it. Okay, we're gonna go into Fierce. Wow. The red is just so, damn. Oh, there's like no words. It's like fire on the eyes. It's so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush that off. And again, we're gonna go into Fearless. Ooh, I love that. I love that. It just pairs so well together. There is a little bit of fallout though with the shade. So keep that in mind when using it. Um, Not the end of the world, but not, 
not amazing because like not super easy to clean either which sucks go back into this red shade okay i'm just gonna go back into that sculpted shade just to kind of blend that edge a little bit more yeah again the biggest complaint is the fallout so it would be best to clearly do your eye makeup first and then the rest of your shit um but i like this though this is cute what i like about this side is i mean it's a little messy I'm trying my best to kind of clean it up because i went a little bit too high um and unfortunately it's a little bit kind of difficult to blend out and that's usually the case with multi-chromes they get to be a little bit too sparkly and then you're just like it hey, whatever it is what it is because uh who cares you know but this though i actually kind of like that it's a little bit messy it reminds me of fire and if you think about like say a campfire right and how there are you know like several different tones of like orange and red and yellow and that's kind of like what this is kind of doing for me so it's like i do see some like deep red back here and then it kind of morphs into orange to yellow and then you kind of have like some of these sparkles that are flying up that it just like reminds me how sometimes like fire flies in that way and um i'm not mad at it i think it's cute i like her She's good. She is a lot of fun. I like it. Okay, on this side, I am going to use the shade Bark as a liner because I just want to be able to like line my eyes. Okay, I'm just going to go in. Love how this falls apart. <laughs> I'm just going to go in on this side. The little bit of Melt Cosmetics Terrible Vision. I'm just going to add a little bit of Mirage in the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that sandstone shade. And I kind of want to add something for the inner corner, you know, just to make it a little bit extra spicy. But I don't know what that is going to be. Do I do a little purple? You know, I'm gonna go into the shade Radiant. Just keep adding more sparkle to it. <laughs> oh, she's pretty. She's messy. She's messy. That's my fault. I fucked that one up. On this side, I'm going to use the shade Slate from Melt Cosmetics. I'm gonna go into the shade Core that right kind of underneath that blue and then I'm going to use that shade sandstone again to just blend it out and then for my inner corner for this side oh what do I do what do I do do I go in to protect it that's a fun one you know what we're gonna go in with resilient this guy right here kind of keep it kind of the same vibe as the other side she is fucking bright and sparkly okay oh she's cute so let me throw on a little bit of mascara and then we're gonna move on to the lips and then that's that's it before I give you my final thoughts and everything um I do want to show you these teeny tiny lipsticks from Valentino if you you haven't seen my Sephora haul video I'll link it in the corner but I did uh, pick up quite a few different things and one of them ooh, was this beautiful little Valentino set that the only reason why I wanted it is because <laughs> it came with a beautiful little clutch but this is like your basic bitch color story okay from the little Kaja lip oil I'm gonna go with the shade 100 R oh this is everything we love her She's good. I don't think I needed to do anything else. Although, that's kind of interesting. So I just looked at the bottom of these and they're both 100R. And then this one is 111A. So hold on a second. I think, <laughs> I think I got a fuck up in my Valentino order. Okay, interesting. So I think I was supposed to receive one nude pink lipstick, right? Then I was supposed to get a true warm universal Valentino red and then a dark brick red. Okay. Okay. Sorry, my video cut out before we found out what exactly happened with Valentino. And it turns out that I was sent the wrong product. So it's actually a happy mistake considering I got two shades of a really amazing color as opposed to one shade that I know I would never use. So I love that for me. I can't say that's gonna happen in everybody's order, but yay for me. So let's talk about actually the lip products first because I really do enjoy both of these. The Kaja Juicy Glass Instant Hydrating Plumping Lip Oil. I was a little, oh my God, first of all, I love this. I was a little scared that this was going to be, I don't know, just really horrible on my mouth and it was gonna burn me a new asshole. And I just, ah, just the thought of it just sounded really terrifying. I don't know why, but I guess I didn't realize that it was a plumping lip oil. I just thought it was a hydrating lip oil. Good news is there is no burn whatsoever. So if you were scared of that, 
don't be. This is great. This is a really nice product and I want to buy more of these. So I actually think that I would pick up more of them during the Sephora, whatever, the last chance sale. I have this in the shade Raspberry Refresher. It's not super opaque, so I definitely feel like this is more of like, kind of like a tinted lip balm, if anything, right? If you're hoping to have like this really, really juicy red color, you're, it's not going to happen. You do have like a light pink hue to your lips and I think that's perfect. So this is something that would definitely live in my bag. In terms of like, plumping honestly I didn't really notice any sort of difference so if you're looking for something to like make your lips big I, I didn't really fucking notice anything I mean I have small lips to begin with so I feel like if they were bigger I would have noticed but they weren't they're kind of the same yeah they're kind of the same eh. anyway <laughs> So maybe that plumping part is a little meh, but for a lip oil, I found it to be comfortable, not sticky, super hydrating, and just overall lovely to wear. So yes, I would happily repurchase this time and time again. So we love her. In terms of the Valentino, so the Valentino gift set is like 50 bucks. And the reason why I wanted to pick this up is because you get this cute little clutch with it. The clutch is adorable. It's worth every fucking penny just for the clutch. This is a beautiful like little card holder slash you want to throw in maybe a lip balm or a lipstick or something like that, maybe a mirror. Like that's pretty much all you're going to be able to fit into this guy and that's fine. I'm more of a bag inside of a bag inside of a bag inside of a bag person. This is amazing. But also I kind of love how compact it is. So if I wanted to like run out to use this as a card holder, it's very, very nice. I like it. So I didn't really give a shit if I was gonna love the lipsticks or not because this is everything to me. And I'm happy to say that the lipsticks are really, really nice. So again, you were supposed to get three different shades. Like one was supposed to be like a nude color, which is what I have on my lips now, like a pinky nude. Another one was supposed to be red. And then you kind of have like a little bit of like a, like a whiny kind of red, but not quite kind of a color. And I'm happy to say that their fuck up was my gain because I have two of the same shade. And I thought I was tripping because I was like, wait a second, why do you look exactly the same? Well, you see, bitch, it's because they are the same. That makes me really happy because I love the shade anyway. So to have two of them, I'm fucking made in the shade. I love this. So very, very happy about these. This set is currently on sale. I recommend fucking running because it's just, it's cute. Honestly, even if you were to get this just for the little pouch guy, it's worth it. And if you can get it for 20% off, that's even better. So yes, this is a, like a must get, must get for sure. If you're looking for just, you know, something a little bit bougie for yourself or for a loved one, but fuck it, you want something for yourself, right? This would be it. <laughs> This would be the thing for yourself. And it would just make you feel, I don't know, better than most people. And we love that. So yay. Anyway, <laughs> Pepto-Bismol Ordinary Serum. Um... Yeah, I don't know. The texture was fine. It was it was definitely more on the watery side, which is not the end of the world. When I did apply it to the skin, it felt nice. It felt refreshing, very hydrating. And while my skin did look very hydrated, I just want more. I like more. I like dousing my skin in oil, basically. So I was kind of feeling like, all right, I feel like a little like I need something here. But whatever, I pressed on. The thing that I probably didn't super love about this product is that when I did have it on my face before I put any foundation or anything on it, it started to dry down. So while you do have kind of like this beautiful sheen to the skin, it started to kind of get a little bit more like, I don't know, a little bit matte, but also sticky at the same time. So I don't know. I think I'm going to try this a couple more times and then worst case scenario, I'm just going to incorporate this in my skincare routine. But as a primer, I don't know. I wanted it to be more. Um, I love the color. I love how stupid it is to drop on my face. I love the Pepto-Bismol color. I just wanted more. This is a to be continued, but if you are dry like me, I, you're, you're still gonna be looking for something else to, to be super hydrating, so. Hmm. But we're gonna try it again. We're gonna keep trying it because uh, we're just gonna keep trying it. <laughs> we're gonna keep trying it. The foundation. This, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this. I don't love this. Um, yeah. Okay. So the first time that I actually applied the product, so this is like my second time doing the video. The first time I did it, it was so cakey. And I was like, okay, it's probably because I used two coats. Even though it says in the instructions, it's one to two layers. Two layers is just too much for my face. Okay, fine, 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 fine. I surrender. So I took all my shit off and I tried it again. And for me, during the first initial application, it's just very heavy, very cakey, and just not flattering. It dries down really fast. Fast. So then a part of me was like, well, maybe it has something to do with the primer. I don't know. It just was drying the shit out of my skin. Now it does have a natural finish, which natural finishes definitely border on the matte side, but it shouldn't feel like fucking suffocation in this area, right? So when I took off my makeup and I tried it again, I only did one coat of it. And actually I use a little bit of the concealer first, and then I put that kind of on top of it because 
It's funny, even with the concealer during the first application, when I put the concealer over the foundation, oh, it looked fucking awful. It looked thick and heavy and just really shiny. And I did not like it. I did not like it. So I was like, let me just reverse that. And it was better. I'm still going through this issue of it just being incredibly just drying on my nose and it not really spreading very evenly. I don't know. Maybe it could be the brush too, because I am using for the first time this Sigma brush, this uh, F47. Maybe it was this. I'm going to try it a couple more times before I really go like, fuck this product, but we're not doing well. <laughs> we're not doing well here. I didn't like it. I don't know. Like it just felt really drying. It's super uneven. And I hate that I can't can't go back to build it up even though it says that I can I can't because if I do build it up it's gonna be one more uneven but super fucking cakey and we just don't have time for that so no 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 okay Ew. uh the concealer I was so sure like okay I've tried this product before I've loved this product before so I was like oh this is gonna be good did they change something did they do something differently to this product because holy shit unless it could be me too because the last time I used it I was in New York and granted my skin is very different now I am a fucking lizard I don't know but it started looking really nice initially. And I was like, okay, look, I love, I just love how hydrating everything looks. It's great. I started kind of spot concealing with it and then adding this product on top of the foundation just to give myself a little bit more coverage, try to even things out. But it started to settle into fine lines, like hardcore. And, you know, I am someone that normally does put a little bit of powder on anyway. So I had to probably pack this out with powder at least four times four times. Like that's, that's fucking, that's insane. I don't, I don't like that. I don't know. Again, I kind of want to try this again, but with my ritual defeat, cause maybe that might be just a little bit better. Maybe just the fucking ordinary is really throwing me off. But yeah, I'm, I don't know. I would kind of think twice about it, but I am curious though, if y'all know the lore of Glossier, did they change some of their shit? Like I know they changed the shade names in this, but now I'm starting to wonder if they changed the actual formula. And if they did, fuck you, because it was a good product. I don't know what happened. So yeah, really disappointed with that. And I, ugh, it was just so frustrating. It was so fucking frustrating today. And I, ugh, I hated it. So yeah, not a fan of these. I would, I would think twice if you wanted to pick them up. I would think twice about those. Moving on to the cheek palette. This is the Benefit Twinkle and Jingle. <sighs> This thing was gaslighting the shit out of me. I applied so much. I, I kind of see it a little bit now. I kind of see it a little bit now, but like, I don't know. I don't know if I really see it because I can't tell if it's this or the beautiful MAC bronzer. And I think it's the MAC bronzer if anything, because I can't fucking tell. Twinkle Dandelion is such a shitty shade. I hate, I, I, I don't know. I must've tried it in the past and maybe blocked it out, but this is fucking God awful. Then you have the two highlighters, Dandelion Twinkle and Honey Bee Twinkle. <laughs> they look so promising and pan and then when you apply them to the skin, it's like a spitting of sparkles. It is awful. I just hated that I was seeing like giant craft glitter kind of just stuck in my fucking pores. It was a nightmare. So I was like, no, I'm all set. Um, so yeah, I don't recommend this. This is uh, not good. Um, I don't know who this would even really show up on. And again, I'm just, I don't, is it on my face? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. So that can go fuck itself. Uh, I totally skipped over this product from Huda Beauty, the Easy Bake and Snatch. Dude, what happened? First of all, I don't like the little stupid sponge guy. The sponge guy is too thin. Reminds me of like a weird fucking McRib yoga mat. Don't love that. The uh, the color is cherry blossom. As for, for a pink powder, I actually like the color of it because it's not like the Pepto Bismol Jones Road pink that just fucked me up. That made me look like I was sick and dying. This is a nice color, um, but I feel like again, it's just really cakey and heavy. It does not work for setting the under eyes. I've had to use this product like four times, and then I think at the last moment just use my finger to kind of pad out the issue that I'm having with the concealer is settling into my fine lines. So yeah, I, I don't love this. The rest of my face, it just, I don't know, there's some parts where it just looks really kind of heavy and cakey. And I think that's maybe has something to do probably with the foundation. So it's another product that I want to try with my favorite foundation, which right now it's pretty much like the Revlon one. That's so fucking good. That or like NARS light reflecting one. I think I'm going to try it again with those two just to see if maybe I'm having a different experience. But yeah, a combination of these two is just they're leaving me heavy and cakey and shitty and I don't love it. I just, I don't love it. 
like it could be better it could be better so yeah now i do have the loose setting powder i haven't used that one yet i am going to try that one out because i've heard nothing but good things but yeah for a compact though i'm kind of hoping that the loose powder is is not like this i'm hoping i'm going to have a different experience so yeah this didn't fucking wow me at all so let's move on to the highlighters uh since the benefit was not doing me any justice i went with tommy ford tommy ford <laughs> tommy ford tom ford has soleil neige glow highlighters in the shades rose iris oh my god i was saying rose rose it's rose iris which is more of like a pinky color and then you have the grand paradis which is a gold color doesn't matter what color you get if you look like uncooked chicken you are going to love it it is incredibly blinding which is super nice because i have tried other uh i've tried like a tom ford highlighter in the past and i felt it was very lackluster so this is just ooh, speaking to me in more ways than one so this was great i love it this is like a must-have if you wanted to pick up this during the sale where you get an automatic 20 percent regardless of whatever level you're at this is worth it and this is worth like these two are like fucking great so good in terms of like luxury products it's just really nice it's so good again doesn't matter which shade you get you're gonna love either one what i like about this product too is that i'm not seeing like any sort of like harsh like craft glitter or any kind of bullshit there nothing is like settling into the lines everything's kind of like blending very seamlessly it's good it's fucking good it's probably one of the better highlighters of this year and it will definitely go on my best of list for sure because it's just so good um so yeah we love tommy ford thank you daddy <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Now moving on, I guess I to the last things yeah the eyeshadow palettes i didn't really have a lot of expectations if i'm, I'm going to be like truthfully honest here i did want to try the groundwork defining neutral palette uh for my face but i think i kind of missed the mark there because uh, i already put powder on my face and i couldn't really go back with a uh, cream on top of it i just i prefer not to do that now the actual powder products in this palette are so tiny so i couldn't even really use it as a bronzer that's why i went in with the mac product so i only use the powder portion of this palette and the powders are fucking good and i sincerely hope that danessa myricks puts out a palette of mattes just give me matte shadows give them to me now i love how easy they were to blend i love that the gradient of colors is just so fucking seamless it looks airbrushed there was no patchiness no muddiness no bullshit everything works really really well and i kind of want to compare this a little bit to the patrick ta palette the all matte palette it kind of has a similar vibe except i think i like the formula of this one a little bit better i don't know it just seems so seamless and so easy to use and it's just a shame that i don't have more mattes like i want more mattes they also worked really beautifully as liner shades as well so i want to keep playing with this this is something that's kind of worth like snooping around but i can see the like hesitation because it doesn't really feel like it's super user friendly if you are someone that is like not super experienced in makeup right like i'm not a makeup artist by any means um so it did kind of take me like a second to be like what do i want to do with this so yeah so like in terms of practice practicality and like what exactly that you're getting granted like I said I didn't touch the putty side so I'm obviously missing that component right but like the mattes like they're worth it and they're kind of worth exploring at a discount but I understand the hesitation of not wanting to pick this up and waiting for the brand to release an all matte palette uh, and when that day comes and I sincerely hope it does come fucking it's gonna be so good it's gonna be so good uh so yeah these are great I can't wait to use kind of the cream shadows I'll definitely like update you next month since uh we're gonna be doing dead mess and uh, I kind of want to keep playing with this palette because even kind of putting the cream on the back of my hand it looks nice like this looks really nice so yeah i don't know this is like a to be continued but we are in a great place and i want to have a second date with you like that's how i feel like i want to have a second date with you i really liked your views on everything and i sincerely hope that we continue to have a good time um but yeah this was fun this was a lot of fun more fun than expected now when it comes to the big boy here so this is the lightwork volume 5 palette um where is my little missing oh here it is huh <laughs> okay cold place let's see come here slap it on hey <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay, so I love the Lightwork palettes. Um, I pretty much have them all, I want to see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have all of them. I've always enjoyed them. Never had a problem with them. I think with the exception of like maybe the first one that was probably my least favorite only because it had a cream formula that just wasn't my favorite because it just didn't look that great on me. So yeah, not my cup of tea, but, but when the brand started to, God damn it, okay. <laughs> when the brand started to release these palettes again, but 
kind of got rid of that formula, I started to really enjoy them more and more. So this is fun. I actually had a really good time playing with these four shades right here. I think I was just so blown away with like how well they applied upon initial application. I didn't really notice any huge amounts of fallout or anything like that. There was like a couple little craters here and there. And I think for me, had I done my eye makeup first, it wouldn't be a fucking issue. But being that I did it after, I, it, it kind of sucks a little bit because I do see a little bit of red here. I do see a little bit of blue here, but whatever. It is what it is. My base looks so fucked up. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, I love how these apply. They applied really nicely with some glitter glue with both a brush and my finger. They look seamless. I also loved that I was able to kind of pair the like the split pans together to really kind of just give you like this nice, beautiful gradient. Usually that never really works out, I feel like, with multi-chromes because one will just kind of like overtake the look and then it just kind of looks weird or whatever. So I love the fact that I, on this side, it's definitely like one big like green to blue while this one is more of like a, a yellow, orange, red situation. Like I just, I just think they're so pretty. I love them. They're so good. So again, I want to continue to play with this more because of the high price tag. There is just a lot of different colors that I want to just, just dive into like the shade powerful. That is so good. Some of these, I feel like I don't even have in my collection, which is really nice as someone that has like a lot of different multi-chromes. Sometimes when I see these palettes, I'm kind of like, well, you know, I kind of have, I have the shade one way or another. And it makes me not want to pick up some palettes sometimes because it's like, all right, I pretty much have this over and over and over again. But that's what I love about Danessa Myrick's palettes is that yes, it is expensive. They're $125. But what you get, I think is well worth the money. And I would say next to Cleona, these are probably the best multi-chromes that you can pick up in like a big box store, essentially, right? Because Cleona is definitely an indie brand. You can only pick up those products with the brand. This, you can at least go to Beautylish or Sephora or pick it up directly from the brand. Pretty sure there's other retailers that also sell this as well. But those are the two that came to mind. Um, but yeah, no, I think this is like fucking fun. This is fun. The one shadow though, I'm a little bit kind of confused on is the centered shade. It feels a little gummy. Uh, so I'm curious to try that one. I definitely see the flakes in it. Um, but damn, that fucking shine though. It's everything. So I think for what you get in terms of the different kinds of formulas that are in these palettes, I think they're definitely well worth the price tag. But if you can get them on sale, it's that much better. I know that I think Danessa Myricks had a, a really good sale where it was like 30% off. So it's probably the best that you're going to do. But if you did miss out on that during the Sephora sale, I highly recommend checking this out because at least you can get 20% off. So yeah, I want to continue to play with this because I, I only really touched upon four shades. So I'll let you know in a future video, like probably next week, um, I'll do a deep dive and do like a couple more looks with it to let you know if I'm continuing to kind of love this. I actually probably both of these palettes, to be honest, with you because I feel like they just pair together so well. But yeah, I'll let you know. I think my biggest gripe though about this palette is the fact that for $125, like it's just the construction of it. It's just not that good. So that is a big old fucking miss. Um, and it's unfortunate, but it, it's not the end of the world. Like I could just glue this shit on, but I shouldn't have to do that, right? Like I, sh I shouldn't have to. This should automatically be on the palette and not me being terrified that it's going to fall off. So yeah, I don't love that. Um, but yeah, I paid $125 and basically looks like um, something that I would just find outside. <laughs> Oh, it's such a shame, but it's okay though. I really do like what I created and I cannot wait to continue to play with them more. They're fun. They're very, very sparkly though. So again, if you are going to be using this palette, definitely do your face first um, because the fucking sparkles. I mean, it's not as bad as Odin's eye like that is, that is pretty fucking bad, but um, there's definitely like just some craggles, some cracks and craggles that I don't love, but this is fun. Yeah, I would definitely scope that out during the sale for sure. So I'm glad that like a majority of this stuff was pretty decent, but then there was still just a chunk of things that I'm like, what the fuck was I thinking? I don't know. Anyway, now I wanna hear from y'all. Uh, let me know down below if you have any of these products. And if you do, do you have the same experience that I'm having? Or is it just the primer? Or is it just the foundation? I don't know. <laughs> let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, threads, and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious discussion disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty. Garbage butter flow. I couldn't do that. Adorable little delicious faces. I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. And it'll be the best time ever, I swear. <laughs> If you want to know what's currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below. And I'll see you, little pumpkins, later. Bye. 